The Sundowns Under-17s had a chance to go to the biggest youth tournament in the world recently if they won the Future Champs Cup in Soweto. The first rule, keep the zero. Your chances to win the game, they are higher. If you keep the zero, this is the last part of the Gauteng Future Champs Tournament, the Gauteng Cup, which is usually played between the two teams that finish in the qualifying rounds at the top of the tables, which is Wits and Sundowns. But as Orlando Pirates gave Black Aces their spot in the Gauteng Future Champs, Orlando Pirates have been brought into the final as well. So it's a very unusual type of final. It's a round-robin final where you play two games and then you total your points to see who wins the Gauteng Cup. The Brazilians played Vitz first up and coach Godfrey Sepula was determined to rectify the mistakes made in the Future Champs Gauteng International Tournament. It's very important for us to do well and win the first match so that we give ourselves a chance in the second match to possibly win it and give, give the boys an opportunity to go to China. We did well in the qualifiers, but in the international tournament, there's things that didn't go our way. We didn't do that well. But yeah, we've been working on the things that we went short on and hoping today everything will be coming together. If this was boxing, Sundowns would have won on points. Although they created numerous opportunities, the net and the ball did not become friends. And the game ended We dominated the game and it's basically the story of the future champs for us. We've been dominating matches and creating a lot of chances to score. But we, we can't finish. We're missing a lot of easy chances. And it's something that ah, the players must understand that to win matches, you got to score goals. And it's something Something that maybe in the next match against Pirates, we need to really try and make sure that in the first half we score a goal or two, so that we give ourselves a chance to win this tournament. The next game against the Buccaneers was played the morning after the first team lost to Orlando Pirates in the Net Bank quarterfinal. So the under 17s were determined to squinchy and settle the score. They're a good side. Pirates always produce uh, and feel good teams. Um, we know they're going to be quick, they're going to be physical, and uh, what we got to do is take advantage of this excellent pitch at the Nike Center and play our game, which is carpet football, keep the ball, and make sure when we get into the final third, we can take our chances. The wind is building up here. If we win the toss, we've decided we're going to go with the wind in the first half and put Pirates under pressure immediately and see if we can get early goals. The chances are very good. I'll back ourselves to go and win the next game. We don't want to change too much. We might maybe try and, and play with two strikers and try to get an early ball forward where we can have our strikers playing around the edge of the box, put them under pressure, press high, try to create chances for ourselves to score. Maybe we might go with two strikers in this match. Coach Sapula's tactics were executed excellently. Sundowns dominated again, but this time the ball found the back of the net. The GPS was working. Excellent goals, well worked goals. We took advantage of a miscommunication in the Pirates' defence for the first two goals. And the third goal was a quick counter-attack. They, they were pressing us, took the ball out the back into our left back and he put in a pinpoint cross for, for our player to finish. First half was very good, went to plan. Uh, we take a lead into half-time, 3-0, but the game is definitely not over. Pirates have made a substitution already before half-time. They brought on a very tall striker. I think they're preparing for the second half. They have a very quick centre forward up front, Tabiso, the number nine. They, they're going to look to go in direct, use the wind like we did, and, and try and score some goals in the second half. Sundowns were determined to weather the storm of the sea rubbers and protect their three gold lead along with their bounty, much to the delight of their coach. Arr. One thing that I'm proud of is the character from the players, because we knew we had to win this game at all costs, and we knew we had to go more than one or two goals to give ourselves a chance. And we scored three goals in the first half, and the goal that we considered it was a good free kick, and if a, goal, a team scores a goal, goal like, like that against us, there's nothing you can do. You can only applaud and say it was a good goal. But I'm really happy and proud for the display from our boys. Vitz only managed one goal against Paris, which meant the Brazilians took the trophy and will be heading to China in August to compete in the world's largest youth tournament. Well done, boys! Ho Hang Le Le of China.